What up, y'all? What's sage? Um, come back with y'all with another daydream talk, you know, vlog, whatever it is. Um, so, shh, what am I talking about today? Oh, yeah, I'm talking about daydream, or I'm talking about twins. Yeah, twins. Just twins. What up, Cora? Get on me, mm. Corey. Hey, Corey. You good? Yep. I'm at home, y'all. So she's gonna be a loud ass. But um, yeah, twins. It's a comic. You know, it deals with a lot of you know fantasy stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, mainly werewolves, and uh, I think I'm gonna have the aspect of you know, you know witchcraft, you know, or, or Wicca, you know, put into the mix of it, but it's mainly going to be dealing with um, werewolves and stuff. So, you know, the main plot of the movie, the main plot of the story is um, these two people, um, um, Max and Maxine, they're just, you know, uh, two regular, two, uh, two regular kids. I don't know if I'm going to make them uh, high schoolers or college students. I really, I really, I really like how the um, how we're coming into that age of just you know talking about not only high school but maybe even you know after college. You know, in between you like your t like after eighteen and in your twenties and shits. I I like that kind of aspect, so I might uh, keep them. I might keep them, you know, in the 20s and stuff, you know, early 20s, you know, but, um, yeah, through a set of events, you know, they, um, you know, where was I am? I'm still getting used to telling the story because it's still, you know, it's, it's hard for me to tell people without giving too much about it. You know, and I don't like to give out too much, and I don't really have a lot to, you know, you know, I, I just really want people to just read it, but, you know, I, I, that that's time, that's time, but, um, I want to be able to deal with, I want this to, uh, circle, be circled around these two individuals who have to now for who are now forced to interact with each other to uh, partner up with each other and you know deal with themselves as not only an individual but as a team so um so max uh, maxwell or um i think I'll, i think his name would be max so i don't know maxwell or maxwell i don't know max that's gonna be his name. It's going to, that's just gonna be the main thing. His name is Max. Uh, he was uh, he was raised in um, in Chicago. You know, you know all his life. He's um, he's never really known his parents. His mother died uh, at birth. Well, giving birth to him, and um, for most of his life, he was um, his dad would be off work, uh, off and just around working and stuff. So he was raised with his fam with his family um, members mainly his grandmother and as he got older and and uh where the where this place and time that we start in the story um he's um he's a grown individual he's like it's like 21 he's um he's now it's his grandmother has passed away so he's inherited her house and he's living there with his best friend Derek and you know they're just you know going off living life and he has this issue of he doesn't want to be stuck in this rut. He doesn't want to be, you know, you know, dealing, he doesn't want to be stuck doing the same thing over and over again. You know, he wants to, you know, explore stuff. He doesn't know exactly what he wants, but he knows, he knows, he knows that he does not want to be stuck in this house. <laughs> Sorry, my, my nose congested, but, um, yeah, so we get to Maxine. She... She is, um, she's also, um, just turned 21 recently, you know, she's, uh, she's lived in the city for, uh, a couple months now. Uh, she moved up here to be with her, uh, be with her best friend. 
um, trying to her whole her whole situation is kind of different. She was uh, she yes she did um, yes yes she wasn't raised by her parents. Um, she had the same situation as that with Derek with um <laughs> with Max. They share the same situation when it comes to their parents. You know, she, you know her mother also died. Her dad off doing whatever he's doing and she was always raised by her older sister and uh, for the longest time she was always in the shadow of her sister you know you know she was always you know because both her and her sister excelled at a lot of stuff you know so she never really had a challenge or had you know shit got born for her real quick and she really just wanted she wanted something simple she wanted you know to come back down to earth so she decided to come back uh, home to Chicago after being away for so many years and um, start a new life there. So um, the way the uh, city works um, in the store in Chicago, you know, it's set in the uh, near future and it's dealing with a lot of, um, you know, the city is in sort of like a separation, you know, it's kind of segregated in, in a lot of senses because there's a, a, a travesty or a, I don't know because when I say and I say travesty you know I don't want to I don't want to put it classify it as some as, as, as something okay whatever this um the city the city went through a, a nightmare you know a lot of stuff happened on this night of actually both of their births it was actually on both of their birth um their births the same night that you know the city kind of got in a disarray you know you know not much is talked about of that time because you know um right now in the story the whole city of chicago is kind of you know separated it's kind of you know everyone's off in their own boroughs their own neighborhoods you know separated by these gates across the city and, um, you know, a lot of the area of the um, city of Chicago, a lot of, um, you know, the smaller areas, a lot of areas that should have had, you know, mostly buildings or like, you know, homes and shops, they're torn down, destroyed, kind of, you know, it, seem, it seems like like a nuclear explosion. And that's, that's the main story that's been told throughout this whole, um, the whole timeline of the story until now that you know a kind of explosion happened within the city which caused you know a lot of dark things to happen that night and you know it's led to the um, city kind of you know healing itself from within so a lot of neighborhoods that were able to survive and were able to you know you know strive and you know keep keep on going after that catastrophe they got together and they were like hey we, we're gonna um we're gonna now do stuff within the communities that we've gathered here and you know we we feel safe where we are so the city is building on that so these two the two main characters they're um they're um they're they're completely different from each other you know you know, uh, Maxine, she's more, you know, out there, more willing going, like, even though, you know, she's more, um, she has more willpower than you can say, um, uh, Maxwell has, you know, he has, he's more of, um, on the chill side, he doesn't really, you know, want to, he doesn't really push as far as what, as, as he could go, you know, and so these two are kind of on different spectrums, you know, they never met each other, they never, even thought of each other the only thing that connects them the only thing that connects these two is the community center which they both um, work out of you know the community center in their neighborhood in the south sector of chicago they um they work through there they uh, get paid they get an education a lot of people in the community go to to this community center to be able to um give them a lot of things that other people wouldn't or other um or other community centers in the past weren't able to do so and that was because you know through um everyone working together everyone building and growing and kind of uh consolidating themselves into this you know 
community hub or their own borough, you know. I like to think of it as a borough because I, I fucks with, you know, the whole New York scene, how, how, how they, you know, have their own boroughs, their own little cities within a big city, you know. You know, hey, there's a reason. <laughs> there's a reason why a lot of super, um, a lot of superhero stories are told in New York. But, you know, we're in Chicago, you know. But um, it's not it's not just the story isn't just contained in Chicago. You know, I do want to uh, um, break up the city, break up this area and bring it to uh, a place um, being um, that that place being uh, be, being bringing it to another place. And, I, and that other place would be Milwaukee because I am um, uh, I am living here right now. I am doing um uh, trying to um, do a lot of this stuff from here and not from Chicago, even though I'm from Chicago, but you know, just building off from here. So I, I feel like even though I'm, from, I'm I'm a Chicago baby, I need to show my love to the city that's you know, put in, put its put its work in helping me be this person and also have helped me become more of a man that I am today. So you know, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, the story is supposed to be, you know, just these two finding themselves, trying to, you know, deal with their inner demons. And the way I'm trying to influence or bring in the whole um, werewolf aspect into it is the fact that there's a um, that there's um, werewolves around in this community. There's actually um, in this world, in this reality, there's um, werewolves are are now a, a big thing. People, a lot of people don't know about it. A lot of people don't talk about it, you know, but, you know, that catastrophe kind of had something to do with that. <laughs> it had something to do with that. And um, these two, the main characters, they end up getting, you know, thrown into some shit, you know. They end up getting infected and now they're off doing they're um they're trying to figure figure out what's going on figure themselves out and through a lot of you know you know connections and means and pe um, people that care about them they're going to figure some shit out you know but um yeah you know what i'll probably do i think as i keep on writing this story and i keep on changing it i might um I might read the story, you know, I might make videos of me actually reading the story and me actually, you know, probably working on the, um, showing pictures and videos of me working on it and stuff like that, just so people can get a better understanding of where I'm coming from, from this, you know, or where I want to go with this, you know, cause this story is more than just, you know, a fantasy. I want to be able to explore, you know, you know, relationships, mindsets, you know, thoughts, ideas, experiences, you know, I'm, the story is essentially about two, two different people who are just, you know, trying to find their own different thing, but are now thrown together. They're now dealing with each other. And it's like inconvenience, you know, we all deal with inconvenience. That's what this world is about. We have to live through, we have to live the way life with with the dice um, life has given us, you know, with the way life gave us, whatever life gave us, y'all know what I mean. So, um, yeah, more to come, you know, uh, I know these videos aren't that very long, but you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying some stuff out, just trying to see, you know, what, um, what people like, what people are interested in, you know, I want, you know, you guys, you know, to see more of me, see what I look like, you know, what I, t how I talk. A lot of people don't know me, people who do know me, and they see these videos, they're going to either see something they know about me or maybe something they didn't know about me. But, you know, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's Wolf Sage. Like, subscribe, you know, you know, look in the bio, follow, you know, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.